with me on the phone today. We are here at Universal. It has been a morning so far. Um, parking was a disaster. We decided to drive instead of take the shuttle and it was really bad. I don't know what was going on, but we weren't moving. Nobody was moving for like 20 minutes, but that's okay. We're still gonna have a good day. If you can't tell, I am smiling under my mask. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Me too. Let's have a good day. Time for temperature check. Welcome to Universal Orlando this morning. We are so, so excited to see you. And do not worry, believe me, we got your sanitation needs down. So all day long, our team members will be out there. They're wiping down railings, they're wiping down benches. They'll make sure every ride vehicle is clean for you. We got those ride vehicles separate. It's 8.15 now. So from the time that we were in the parking lot to now, about 30, 45 minutes. Too long. So, we are, um, where are we going first? Wherever we want, baby. But we in here like swimwear. You guys, they are filming a commercial today for Volkswagen. See that? And there's another sign over here. That's so cool. Look, guys, that's where they're filming it. Cool. So there's already a wait for the train, the Hogwarts Express. I think that's because people are gonna try to get Hagrid's and they're gonna try to get it first thing in the morning and then just take the train and go straight over to Island of Adventures. So we're gonna go into Diagon Alley. We've never been in here. Gonna... Don't know. I have no clue. This is so cool. I just can't believe that me and Aaron have never. We didn't know this was a thing because it's it's hidden behind the wall. I didn't know this was a thing, but it's really really cool. Look. Honey, you need some Pepto Bismol or what? You don't know how to sign language. I didn't know that. You're probably more readily are going to get a reservation if you are on the universal Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. That's what we heard. Mm -hmm. So, tip, tips and tricks. Be on the Wi-Fi. Yes. Log in on it when you first come in. And I'll say this. Also, just to let you guys know, we went in the app at 8:43 and got those passes. So before nine, I don't know if that's because we're already in the park or they just did it early, but that's just to let you know, we got our passes at 8.43. Well, here we go, y'all. We got Hagrid, we got Hagrid. Are you excited? Also also, I want to say Universal is doing a fantastic job with making sure that everybody stays distant. Right. Um, in places where there are not markers, they are going around making sure that you are right. at six feet apart. Right. They are doing a really good job. And you can tell, God bless them because I know it can't be easy to work with the public like this. No. It's different for everybody. We have to wear the mask. It's a different experience. It does take getting used to, but you have to be conscious and you have to be aware. It's a requirement. See that everybody is distancing. Back that thing in, back that thing in. Hey. Back that thing up, back that thing up. So, um, even on the ride, 
ride as far as the, uh, the, the train going from Island of Adventures to, a, to Universal. They have, uh, I'm about to show you right now, where even when before you get on the ride, you are socially distanced and that they have you staggered at each lane. So I'm gonna show you right now. So that person's up here on row one, we are on row two, so we have to stand back here, and so on and so forth. So um, they're really being serious about the social distancing and making sure that everybody is safe. What was that? What exactly are you doing? Why'd you throw your leg up like that? Because <laughs> I'm excited. It's starting! Just like that, we are in Hawksmead and we have nine minutes for our virtual pass. So you guys, with the virtual pass, we were able to book two on my phone and two on Aaron's phone. Two passes for Hagrid. We'll explain how the virtual line works later. It has its pros and cons versus Disney's Fast Pass. So this is where the virtual line starts. You can't come in here unless you have a pass for the right time slot. And they do scan your pass. This is one of my main issues with this area. This is already not a big walkway. With this being blocked off for Hagrid's, this is a very small space for people to walk back and forth through. When it gets more crowded, it's not, I mean, it's gonna be jam packed. You know what I mean? Uh, that, which is a good reason why they are not operating at full capacity right now. So I figure while we're walking, I'll kind of explain to you guys about the virtual pass. So the app is not connected to your park ticket. When you're in the park, your app is just gonna work. You don't have to make an account or anything like that. So when you're in the park, when it's time, you can just reserve your virtual line passes. You can do it up to a party of eight. So it works to have more than one phone because you can book more than one pass. So we booked the pass for 9.10 to 9.40. And then, um, well, Aaron booked that one. And then I booked a pass on my phone for 9.50. So do you see what I'm saying? So we have two back-to-back -back passes for Hagrid's. So it's kind of cool. If you come with a family, there's a really big opportunity for you to get a good number of virtual line passes. Aaron doesn't know anything about this no, ride. I don't. To be honest with you, I don't either. I just know that it's a roller coaster, but I haven't watched any videos of it because I just want to take in the experience now. Okay, so the ride broke down for 15 minutes, but we're back up and we're running. We're so close. We're at this. We're so close. Here we go.
ship, don't worry, repair it. <laughs> times like when we did that drop when the roller coaster went out and we went backwards I was not expecting any of that the animatronics the yeah. animatronic of I'm sorry we're not Harry Potter fans but the guy who has the beard I guess that's Hagrid amazing animatronics okay so this is the line now I think we're going to skip I think we're gonna skip it for now. It's a little too long. Even though most of these people are, they have to stop at the lockers and put their stuff in a locker. It's just a little too long. But I'm really, really grateful that we got to ride it. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Oh, bro. Oh. Yeah, we're not doing this again, y'all. Look at this. Uh uh. We're not doing that again. We are approaching Sus Landing. This area is just so cute. If I was a kid, I would love this. Okay, this is the first time you've seen us with the masks off because we are drinking water so we can take our masks off. But I wanted to talk to you guys about how was it riding the ride with the mask on? It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. But the mask, my mask kept slipping. Mine did too. But that didn't stop the ride from, like, it didn't it take fun. away from the experience. It was, really, it really was really so fun. fun. I guess after we drink our water, we'll head over to the marble area. So Dr. Seuss train ride has a five minute wait. I want to ride it, but we'll do it later. I'm sure the wait will be low all day. This is my song. Don't encourage her. Don't do that. You too. Y'all, it is truly a ghost town over here. There is nobody over here. I mean, yeah, this area is for little kids. So that might be good for the parents who are bringing their kids here. They can have comfort in knowing that this area right. is not going to be really crowded. So this is the entrance of Island of Adventures and I'm kind of surprised at the amount of people that's here now. I, I Truthfully, I thought there's going to be more people. Alright family, we just got off of the Hulk. Right now we are going to look for some food. Kyle right now is looking at the map on her app. The line was not too bad. Very socially distant. They're, they're very, very conscious about making sure you keep that six feet. They're really taking the steps necessary to keep everybody safe. So kudos to Universal. I cannot wait to see what Disney's uh, social distancing is gonna be like. But Universal is right on the money. They're doing a good job. Currently, there is a five minute wait for Spider-Man. So they sanitize your goggles and they hand them to you one by one so you can't pick them up from here 
they hand them to you instead. So on ours, it's gonna be me and Aaron and the two of them, right there. So they spaced out this row and then they'll be sitting in the back. And we'll be sitting in the front. Did you see that? The spider signal. With Spider-Man nearby, trouble can't be far away. And you know what trouble means. Headlines, national coverage. So don't screw this up. Liv, you shouldn't be out here. This could be the most dangerous night of my life and yours. And just like that, we're done. Gotta love Spider Man. It is such a classic ride here at Island of Adventures. Town Lagoon. This area is cute too. Where's everybody? Where's everybody at? I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. We have a dilemma. We're only gonna do one water ride. But are we gonna do the Dudleys? Or are we gonna do Jurassic Park? We're gonna do Jurassic. So the ride entrances are usually the most congested areas and this ride is virtual line pass only. Yep. The most crowded area is Harry Potter. I mean, but is that a surprise to anybody? <laughs> it's always crowded. So Aaron said he wanted to sit down because he felt like he wasn't getting enough oxygen. I'm telling y'all, truthfully, it is hard to wear these masks it was overcast all morning and now i mean the sun is kind of starting to peek through the clouds are kind of breaking up in areas but it's today is not as bad as it would be on a normal florida day truly i don't know how people are going to do it on the super high temperature days yeah, so that's that's a drawback. It is. I mean, the I man, just don't know how it's real, it, really, it's, really it's hard. Yeah. Right now, for me, it's bearable. And if you have respiratory, I don't even have respiratory. No, you issues. can't. No, you don't need to come if you have respiratory like issues. Asthma, people with asthma. No, but they do have areas where you can take your mask off, and we'll show you guys where those areas are. You kind of have to take it a little slow when you come. You can't come and expect to do like go the same pace you normally go when you come to the parks because these things will really it'll slow you down I mean whether you want to or not you can try to go fast pace until you pass out but that's fine because it's not at a hundred percent capacity so you can kind of take it easier because it's not like you have to rush to get in a line because the wait time is so long just to, just just letting y'all know how it is all right are you sure about makeup? So we had to wait. They asked how many were in our party and they walked us over to our table. Right. Once you're seated, you can take your mask off. And they said, you can only get food from the Universal app. So you have to order it on the app, but you don't place your order until you're seated. And then I think they bring the food to you. Right. So I'm about to place our order. I'm just getting the turkey leg and some water. Prepare some fries. Yeah, I'll get you some fries. Let's eat, baby. This whole turkey leg for me. And these whole fries for me. It's hot. It's real hot. Brontosaurus leg, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut into it first. Carnivore. Mm. Whatever. Alright, y'all kinda done a little damage to this turkey leg. <laughs> It's so good, it's still steaming hot. This thing bigger than her arm and she eating it. It's so good. We love a good turkey leg. You say we, is there somebody, something I need to know? We. It's more than just me. Y'all, y'all heard it here first. <laughs> okay? All right, so. Advanced Illusionary Schizophrenia with Involuntary Narcissistic Rage, right here. 
All right, family, we just finished eating. When Kyra went to the restroom to wash her hands, it says it's open on the app. We're gonna go to see if it's open and then ride that. Afterwards, we're gonna go to Universal, get me some food, chill a little bit, and then we're gonna ride a couple of more rides and then see what else is on the agenda. But we're, we're just chilling, and here she goes right now, coming back. I'm ready to go. We got the ponchos on. It's time for Jurassic Park River Adventure. Here's mine. I got many. Welcome to Jurassic Park. folks so we just walked out of our island of adventure I right now is ordering some food for me and we're about to go into Universal there are a couple of rides over there that we're gonna ride since we have the fast passes like we told you before we're gonna go and jump to the front of the line in a couple of rides which is cool but I am sweating bullets Ooh. all right we made it to Mel's drive-in this is where we ate last time, just to show you what Universal is looking like right now. And it's like 2 o'clock. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Oh. Y'all so hot. Outside, I checked the weather app, it's 91 degrees. It is so hot. This morning it was like 70 in the mid to high 70s. It shot up to 91 and it's noticeable, especially with the masks. But these times that we have where we're in a dining area where you can take your mask off and be out of the shade, it's really necessary during these times where you have to wear a mask. It is necessary to take some time to get out of the sun and to be able to take your mask off. It really is. Even the Coca-Cola machines are socially distancing so those two middle ones you cannot use Like, who actually got permission from the parents? I mean, that's if show. you came from a Christian household right. or you just had parents that were just like, uh uh, no, no, we ain't no, doing that. Right. Okay, I have yet to see it. I think I'm gonna watch it. Well, you know what we should do after we get, after we go on these two rides? What should we do, honey? Get some ice cream. Man, listen, I married you for a reason. Hey, this. She married me for my money and I ain't got none. Jesus, I did not marry for the money. Uh -oh. Moving along. I, I heard it because I got a nice ring, y'all. She thought I had a little money. Yeah. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Gotta be distant. I really was going to dance for you guys and teach you guys a thing or two, but they just stopped, so we can't do it. How cool is that, you guys? That was so cool. I love that they're 
still doing the shows and stuff. They're just doing a distance. It can be done. Um, but now it's time for my most favorite ride of all time. So we just got off the mummy. Mm -hmm. Classic ride, always phen phenomenal. Right. Every time. Right. But you guys, look at the lobby. I have never seen this lobby look like this before. Aaron, didn't I say to you I wish the men on stilts were out? Yes. When we were in line? You spoke them into, into I existence. I spoke them into existence because look, they're out here. I love them. They scare me. <laughs> right here. Oh my God. Smell okay. Oh my God. You can't even see the smell. So look at that y'all, as soon as we came out the ride and it's like a ghost town over here. It's 3 o'clock right now. And I'm just trying to give you guys perspective like throughout the day of how the crowds change in size and certain areas that you're in. It definitely matters what area of the park you're in and the time of day plays a factor in it too. So we decided to use our other express pass on Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts. I just want to look at this over here because we're going to miss it. So this is the main queue and there's like these little... Y'all, y'all have to tell me what it's called because I don't know. But they're in here writing. Is this the bank? The Bank of America? I mean the Bank of... <gasps> it is a bank, isn't it? This is a bank, right? The Bank of Gringotts and they're all writing and I... I have to um, get some money out there. Anyway, whatever. Let's go. All right. We're just stepping out of Escape from Gringotts. Y'all, oh my gosh, we look so rough. S excuse our appearance. That, they did it with the Harry Potter rides. They did it. I mean, we got to give credit where credit is due. They absolutely killed it. These two rides have been some of the highlights of my day for sure. They killed it, killed it, killed it mm -hmm. with these rides. Next, we are going to ride The Simpsons. Very excited. Congratulations. Here we are. It's almost over. Only 45 more minutes. Oh, just kidding. Here we are in our own room. Here we go. We get the whole thing. Come on, everyone. Sit down. Mm -hmm. Time to Just got off the Simpsons. Kai, are you sure there's nothing else that you want to do? No. Going back to the hotel, so we'll see y'all when we get back to the hotel. All right, AK family. We are back in the room. Let me tell you how how how, how this whole situation worked out. And um, I have the, the gift of discernment, okay? <laughs> Uh, because if it was left up to Kyra, we would still be in the park <laughs> right now. And look at that! Look at outside. <laughs> okay. Oh, you can barely tell. It's not bad. But it's not bad. As you can see, you can, you see the drops on the window. As thundering rages in the in the sky. There, I haven't seen what, a it, flash of input, thunder. Input flashes right here. <laughs> okay, so God's giving me the the gift of discernment, and because of that. First of all, Kai didn't have to get her hair wet, which she doesn't like to do. I just wash she, my hair. When she doesn't, when she's not washed, when it's not time to wash, and and look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're thank so you. annoying. We're back in the room, um, and we're just chilling right now. So, um, we are going to sign off for tonight. We had a great day today at Universal Studios and we are going to release a video after this one just with all the information you need to know about going to these theme parks during this time mm -hmm. because so many things were different. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, so it, so more of a tips like and a tricks lot of things. post quarantine. Just how um, to handle going right. to the parks. Absolutely. I mean, because there's so many different things when it comes to how you get your food. Um, just how you maneuver through the lines, how you manage getting certain rides with the virtual passes. Some rides you couldn't just walk on. You had to get a virtual pass. 
and just so many other things wearing the mask and the heat and all that stuff so um, be on the lookout for that video after this and we hope you guys enjoy this video hit a thumbs up drop a comment down below and subscribe, subscribe to the AK Adventure. Peace.